Good morning everyone. I hope you can see this. Let me just check if it's a... Uh, Hubby's made me an arm that comes out uh, above the table. Now, hopefully you will get to see all of this. And uh, it's nice to be back. But I'm going to make a cushion. And I'm not sure. I've got some things out to play with. As you know, Fifi likes to play. I'm not sure <laughs> whether I'll change my mind, alter it or whatever. I don't know. But I've just got some nice things out. These are some of the um, little applique things that I made. I hand stitched all the beads on um, using some fabrics. Using some... Um, little cameos and then hand stitched the framework round them. They're just a non felt or canvas. And they look really sweet. So I've got those. What a beautiful picture here. Now I've got some words that I've got here as well. So I'm you know this could be sisters but I don't have the word sister but I do have moments these are metal and together. So together moments. So we can use those. Maybe one, maybe all. Or love. A love between sisters. So we've got that. I've got out my little um, split rings because I have got some stick pins here as well. But I may want to do... Um, I've got some beaded charms, you see. These are the dangles and I might want to add to them I don't know so that's why I got the extra beads out may want to make another one I'm not sure some spare tassels just in case not sure which one I want to make like I say some spare beads so I'm just going to put all those to one side I've got some vintage button oops there's another bead got some vintage buttons these are metal but I like the pattern. I can paint them or leave them. And those are acrylic. I used those on the cushion before. So we've got those as well. I've got this as a picture frame, which I wanted to put that into. But I'm not sure. We'll see, because I could use that as a picture frame and just paint over it. We shall see. I've chosen some lace. This is the last of this one, actually. So that's that. That one. And uh, these two we sell in the shop. But they are nice. I, I haven't put any frilly lace on at the moment, but I will be, I think. Yeah, we'll see. I've got some satin, which is a beautiful, beautiful um, satin fabric. I've pre-cut three layers of the inch wide um, wadding, a filler, whatever you want to call it. So that's going to go on there because it's like an oval cushion. So that's going to go on there. But before I do, do that, um, I also need to do, I've got this fabric, it's like um, a brushed velvet. And I use it for my doll making, but I thought because this is so thin, and I really want to protect the cover, the cushion. So I'm going to use that to cut out um, I'll just use this like that to put underneath the satin and protect it. So um, let me just see if I do that, fold that over to there. I'm hoping you can see everything I'm going to be doing. And I'm just going to cut that there. Like that. Just fold that up, keep it nice and neat. I use it to make the legs on the dolls and the arms. And it's really strong and like a flesh colour. But you're not going to see it under the satin anyway. Right, so that has to go on there. That also has to go on top. And then we pull that over, which, like I say, is just to cover it. Now, oh, and I've done these ready-made. They're just pleated bits of fabric. This is the satin. Two lots of that. I've made a little frill from some tulle. I've also just made a little flower from the tulle. 
added a little applique and then put that onto the middle and I've also made that may use them may not I'm not sure at the moment so I'm just going to put those to one side uh, and let's get on with this so now all I've got to do is to I need to attach this and all I'm going to do is just pin that down there so if my glue gun is hot enough oh glue stick of course my glue sticks never work for me <laughs> they never do um but hey ho so it's just to glue that section down like that I can titivate it all up. Yes, I did say titivate. <laughs> but what I mean to say when I say that is I can cut around, trim and, and put some extra glue on where I need to. So I'm just doing, because that's like that, I'm going to be cutting that and I'm going to do the same because I forgot about that. I like mine to lay flat. Right, so I've got that on there. I'm just going to cut this. Just cutting it straight across. I need an edge on it so that I can put the lace on. So that's no problem. Just fix it like that. There we go. Just like that. But yes, it's nice to be back doing a tutorial. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the ends next. And we'll do the corners later. I haven't got much space on my table, but uh, hopefully you're seeing what I'm doing. Just follow the contour of the uh, um, wadding. If you do that, press down. See, that will pick that up there. Turn that around. And we'll do the same here on this side. Actually, what I should have done was moved it up more because I can use that for something else. Um, but I'll use it for a leg or something. You know, it's not uh, not a problem. The bits I cut off, I mean, I wouldn't have to waste so much. Like I say, just follow that round. Like that. And then... I'm going to cut and just trim it for now. It's easier to manage. You can trim down and you're not going to see any of it anyway. It's going to be covered with the... Yeah, we can use that for backing of flowers and things like that. So it won't go to waste. And when I say that, look, just trim all your ends. It doesn't matter how big that, if you can trim it and make it into a circle, and I always have a bag uh, on the table, and any spares, while I'm going along, or when I've finished a project, I'll uh, cut all the, even if it's half that size, and it, it'll just back a flower, so don't waste it. Waste not, want not, and they'll get it done later. Right, so now what I'm going to do is to continue gluing this down. So hopefully you can see. You need to follow the contour of the um, wadding. And that, you don't get any creases in it, see? So, and you're just following it around. If you got this little bit of loose stuff, it, uh, you know, you're going to put the um, top cover on. And so you just pull it and press down. If you miss any, you can go back and glue it, it's not a problem. And I'm just following the contour, like I said, of the wadding. 
There we go. Now I can trim it a little bit better. So we're just trimming around. just a three layered one which gives gives it um, enough thickness for it to be uh, workable if you know what I mean so you can uh, see that's a nice cushion that not perfect look got a hole all you do is go back and uh, fill it in I'm just going to trim that off a bit more now. That's okay. As long as you've got a lip to, oops, to work from, that's what you need. And that, I'm, I'm happy with that, that'll do nicely. So now what we do is we attach the top and bottom of the fabric. like that uh, same principle is to add your material okay now you do have to make sure that they fit so I'm just gonna press mine down like that turn it over and do the other side so I'm doing top and bottom of this basically Pull that like that. And then we're going to do top set at uh, the sides, or whichever you call top bottom, it doesn't matter. Okay, so press that down. That enabled me to get a little bit closer to there and then I can play around with it. Let me get another stick. Okay, pull that back. Turn that over. I'm just going to double check that I did catch all of that there underneath. I might do the top and bottom separate. Flip that over like that. Like that, just push that in like that. Again, tidy the edges up. I'm going to flip that over. I mean, you can do them however you want. I do them like this because it's simple, it's easy and it's pretty quick. And if I wasn't filming it, I would be a little bit faster than that. Uh, last corner, or last section, should I say. Flip that over. Uh, 
Now this might have to be done in two parts because I did have another battery. Can I find it? No. You know, for the camera. Absolute useless, Fiona. <laughs> I always have uh, two now so that I've got them, you know, packed up ready for when one fails, the other one I can start with. Now, all I'm doing now is you cut around the fabric. And any that I might have punctured holes near, I can just fill that in. No, I think that'll be fine. And there you go, we've got a nice cushion. To work from, like that. Is that done? Yeah, that's fine. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach the frill uh, and like I say I'm just going to use some gather glaze. I've got this to start with. I'm going to use the broad one first I think. Now this will be for sale when I've finished as well. It will go in the shop. So you will know it's been handmade by me. I keep getting asked, when are you going to make things for the shop? Well, I've just done a load of flowers, ladies and gents. Um, I'm going to start at the side and all I do as close to the edge um, where it's been joined is to start and put that frill on. Now I've always said to you when you put in a, um, a frill gather it a little bit just gather it a little nip and tuck here look and it just makes the um, gathered lace lay better. There we go. Not quite happy with that bit there. I mean, you can just pick it up and move it along. Because it doesn't have to be perfect. So, if we have any newbies, welcome. Um, I haven't posted properly for a while. Uh, and do please go and have a look at my food blog, because I do have one. And um, it is all home-cut meals and cakes and treats and sweets. Um, thanks for the feedback on it. I've had some fantastic feedback and some have tried the recipes and absolutely loved them. You can make comment on there if you want to. It does allow you to make comments. Some do. But I do share on Facebook what I'm doing in the store and of course what I'm doing on the blog.
and you'll never know that's got a join in it like that there so that's the front and um yeah now what i'm going to do is add another layer but a smaller layer so let me just see make sure I... oh no do you know what i'm going to put it on the back but i'm just going to put i'm not going to gather it on the back i won't gather it on the back Right, I'm just going to finish this section and I'm going to cut that off there. Oh, was handmade with love by matt but it's this is one he sent me for my birthday but i did one exactly the same uh, more or less and uh, showed people how to do them yeah sorry I, it's that long since i've seen it. i've just seen that on the back it's um handmade with love um uh, by mark and that's love 92 at com. beautiful isn't it but you can see it the tutorial I did on it on mine on my channel right okay okay so there we go so that's that and that just covers that section and that's pretty don't matter if it's not perfectly oval now I just have to work out what I'm going to do and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim the corners off of this sorry I hope uh, I've got it back at the right setting because it went off I'm just going to check that. It would be a shame if it's not. I think you can see. I think. <laughs> we'll see when it comes to putting it up. May have to do the whole video again. It only films for half an hour. And of course, if this video is going to take me two, I'm going to have to keep doing that, so, you know, turning it on and off. That's what I need to do. Yeah, I'm going to just glue this picture on. And then work from that. There, like that. We will be getting these in again. As soon as we get them in, we sell them straight away. They just go immediately. Mind you, we are one of the cheapest people, places to buy them. Right, all I'm going to do now is to start and glue this on. I'm just going to do it there. Like that. bring that around to there see you can have it wherever you want and then you might just have that one underneath that's what I'm going to do 
So, um, let me just turn this around so I can work from that angle. There we go. Just taking the tool, pop that in there, lifting it, the fabric up, and placing the tool underneath. <coughs> you just have to twist it. This is what you've got to be careful of when you're working with tool. It does twist if it's not, um, you know, set solid sort of thing. But I leave it loose so that, look, I can move this uh, frill about and put it where I want it. That's why I leave it loose. More glue. <laughs> like that. And you pull that a little bit there. Now that looks lovely. Look at that. Nice bit of tool on the edge. And I love the frill. Beautiful. So, now, just hang on. Because I do have some, some of these. Yeah, I'm going to use them. I took these from a handbag that I was altering. This one, I think, will look fantastic there. And that's going there, no matter what, it's it's going. Okay, so I'm going to put that on and just get that there. That's it. But these flowers, like I say, it was um, a handbag that I uh, had. And we bought it to, in the charity shop, um, the evening bags. And what I do is, I, I'll show you one in a minute. We um, alter them. I'm going to put three of these on and then I can play around with them from there. Like that, which I like that. So the little flower that I've made, I'm just going to pop on there. That's it. Just give that a little bit of oh, decoration. That's great. I have to make sure that I put it on right. I'm going to use this. <coughs> yeah. It has to go on right. Okay, so. I'm going to use it because it will fill where I need it to fill. Which is from there. And what you have to do is kind of like pinch as you're going round like that because it's a straight one you have to curve it yeah so we're gonna curve that it'll just hide that edge but not hide this
Oh, and that's it. That's that. That's that's it. Like that. We don't want to hide the ladies, of course. got this beautiful um, let me just sort that one back out this is in the shop it's all in the shop that and this um, yeah I think I'll use this I like the colours now that's the right side I think That's fine, love it. So it's just a small edge. So what we're going to do is just burnish the end. Bit of glue on and then we're going to go from here. Um, and I'm going to glue the edge of the picture. I'm not gluing the uh, picture down itself at the moment because I might need to put something underneath. Just going to trim that off there. Just put that there. It's fine. I'm going to put something on there that'll cover that. So that's done that. Okay, so you just build uh, things up as you uh, go along. Now, I'm going to. Let me just see. I have to look at it. Now, if I put that on, is it going to be in the way of the picture? No. Hang on. Don't want either of those. <laughs> what about the big... Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. I'm just going to pop on that really big button there. Sorry, I've just chosen to do that. And I might just put a little bit of a wash on that. Uh, and by that I mean, let me just see if I can get hold of my paints. That's heavy modelling paste. Don't want that, mate. It's just behind my dish and I don't want to. There we go. Look, and all I do by that is this. Take a bit of paint, right? Now, I know I should have done it before I put it on. I didn't think about it then, did I? I want the gold to show through. Take a wipe. This is where you can build as you go along. Just take a wipe. Right, your finger, of course. And then what you do is you just dab off all the a a um, excess. Ah, like that, see? Simple as that, and that'll dry. Lots of things you can do as you go along. There we go. So that will dry shortly. Um, and then I think I need that one I think from here yeah and I'm going to do it from there I'm just going to pop that there 
that's perfect that one there we go I've got the word love oh, I like that there just coming out from there it's a light bulb moment <laughs> Um, and we can add together here and we can put it there I think sorry if you're not seeing this I hope you are we're just going to put that there I'm going to find a nice nice little button just to sit there no you'll have to be a flower won't it let's just have a look oh we can have a pearly thing let's have a look that's it that'll fit there yeah I'm going to put another one of these flowers on, but I'm going to put it at the top. So, like I say, they were just taken from the, you know, the front clasp of the bag. The flap, should I say. And I thought, well, I'm not going to waste them, I'll keep them, but I'll show you the bag in a minute. Let's just get this on. There we go, like that. Um so hang on. <laughs> Turn this the right way. Gorgeous, gorgeous flower. Uh, feather. I don't know whether I want to use it, but I think I do. Turn that over. Pop that in there. Yeah, I just like that. One simple thing. And then what I'm going to do is add these little bits just underneath that. That's it. I'm quite all right with that. Yeah. Lift that a little bit just so you can see them. Yeah, quite happy with that. I like that little arrangement. And there you go. I was going to put some more lace around there. I don't know. And what I'm going to do, I think, I think, let's see what I've got here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the this side so you won't be able to see the joint anyway make sure i get the right way around just pop that on there and it just hides that little bit of roughness and makes it more chic And I just think that's made that that little bit more precious. Um, so I'm going to try and bend that. There we go. Beautiful, isn't it? It didn't take long to do. 
and like I say that will be going um oh do you know what I'm gonna do I just I know I know people can say fee fee no I do do things uh when I see them I'm not if I'm not happy with something I've lost my pin and I just want to uh put a little bit more pearliness to it because I have some of these and I've just spotted we need to pop one on there beautiful I also want to pop one here Even though they're sticky, I do add glue because it just helps. One here. Just to bling it up that little bit more. See, it does make a difference. And one there because, like I say, someone's going to look underneath. <laughs> which they do um, and that just sets that off and I think I'm also going to put keep the pearl effect going um, one on there sorry if I'm out of frame I don't mean to be I'm just trying to Put one on there. Oh. One there. And I think Miss Two put one there. And that just give me a chance to put one there. See how it just hen 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 enhances that little part one there yeah 